Hey, this is Nicholas with the Backyard TARDIS, uh, here with another epic swag grab bag. This is going to be my second take. Uh, my first take did not come out great, uh, so this is not going to be an unboxing. I've already taken everything out of the box, so I'll show some of the boxes off, uh, but I think this is going to be a much better experience. Just kind of showing some of the merch that I picked up, specifically, mostly for Sonic. With the Sonic Movie 2 coming out, we are getting bombarded with merch between that and the 30th anniversary. Tons of stuff that you can find at GameStop, Walmart, Target. I'm imagining places like Best Buy too, but this is kind of where I'm going. So I'm going to go through it without any further ado. I'm going to start out. I'm going to do some of my non-stuff. I got uh, some Star Wars figures. There's Luke, and he ignites his saber. So this was Dollar Store Luke. Let's see if the camera can focus in on that there. Yeah. And uh, they had next to Dollar Store Luke, they had Dollar Store Chewbacca. And Chewbacca actually has a ton of detail. This is really cool for a Dollar Store item. Now, of course, Dollar Store doesn't sell things for a dollar anymore. I think they were three bucks a piece. And then, of course, you can never have too many stormtroopers love stormtroopers so those were fun uh something i picked up while i was there and these were truly a dollar uh were a bunch of dinosaurs the other ones i've already given to my daughter but uh my daughter's five about to be six and uh you know she's really into dinosaurs but you get all these like jurassic world ones and they're really expensive they're like 20 30 dollars and then they have like posable arms or a jaw that comes up and down and they're like super weak snapped on plastic and like those break within a couple of days and now she has a dinosaur that doesn't have a bottom jaw uh but you get this it's it's it's, it's rubber it's hard it's nice and uh you know we've got our triceratops a bunch of stuff but that was cool it was kind of figured i'd show that real quick another thing that i'm gonna share i got one for myself and one for my daughter uh i think it was walmart that had these in great stock but uh little Eggman robot there uh really uh there's the camera tries to focus um you know McDonald's has the Mario Kart uh little carts that they're giving out with a Hoppy Mill so I thought I'll give this to my daughter and she can have the crossover that I can't get them to make a game where they have the, the Sonic Racing and the, the Mario Racing together then I got a little modern sonic figure and i really like you know previous ones in modern sonic like they put way too much arc uh, articulation in like big like bendable gears that uh, made them look like robots which kind of doesn't work with sonic but this one here really like how that one turned out okay next up uh an amy and uh so this is once again good articulation but not in a way it's still got the bendy arms um but it articulates at the shoulder and the same with the legs um although they do have kind of a little knee gear to them but this is a really cool figure we don't see a lot of amy merch and she's definitely become more of a popular character by now but this is her look from back in the adventure days and whoever shall wield this hammer shall have the power of amy rose yeah this is this is this is a cool because we don't get enough of this kind of merch so was happy to see that next up um Mornons, once again bulbasaur is my favorite of all the starters and uh, this one actually looked cute. Half the time they have these little plussies. Like they had a squirtle and uh, he looked horrendous. Uh, but this this little one, it seems like outside of like Pikachu and Eevee, they have a hard time making these guys look cute. But this looks cute. And I thought, well, I'll give that to my daughter. Um, continuing on the plush route, the, the smaller Knuckles plush. And it says this is Sonic Movie plush, but and it, and it even says that on the tag. Though, you know, there's not much difference between Knuckles' classic look and his movie look here. But uh, this is just a good little little Knuckles plush. Uh, my daughter's all into plushies, so that's probably going to go to her. But Knuckles is my favorite Sonic character. And then 
we got Movie Sonic. Now, Movie Sonic is one of those things that a lot of times in merch, I don't like how he looks in the merch. I think it looks dumb, even though I think it looks great in the movie. Um, this one's a little bit in his face. is kind of a little weird, but um, uh, the, like the blue arms don't look out of place on this. This this is cute. I had a big plush for my daughter that uh, she, and I like how the quills fill and stuff. And it was one of those gigantic ones that I got from Sonic Adventure. And then the shoes, their coloring started to peel off because they were made of a different material. And it just got ragged. I'm, I, I had to tell her, you know, it's time. It's time to get Sonic, put him away. So I'm going to hang on to this. And then when we go see the movie, I'm going to give this to her. So uh, looking forward to that. Um, talking about Sonic movie merch. We have this little remote control car. Now it has a cord. This is so they didn't have to put batteries in both the thing and the controller for you to be able to test it in the box. But so let's see them go. And that probably killed all my audience listeners' ears. But you can kind of get an idea how he looks. We've got head swivel. We've got arms can bend out into different poses and different articulations. So you can, can go in there, but yeah, definitely a cool, cool little thing. And I'm hoping these big wheels will do much better on my country terrain. Like I'm, I have like the little race cars that came from Sonic and, uh, or the Mario Kart cars. I don't have any blacktop where I live. Uh, it's either gravel or grass, and they don't run too well with their little teeny tires. They just kind of so. I'm hoping one of those big tires. This will be something I can get out there with my daughter and play. Now, this one. So for these, I'm going to share the boxes. So first, I got this little expansion pack. It's got tails, a spring, and all that. Um, I got this at one, but these are the 2.5 sets for the diorama. And then I got the main diorama. So this is for Studio Oppa's song. And I built it. And let's see, tails fell off. Just gonna put tails up there. You can have Sonic. Can uh, go up the ramp, so you can pose him at whatever spot you want. Um, you have the rings, the red rings, the little bouncy things, boing, boing, the things. I like the fact that like tails could come down here, and there's the spring, so that works. Oh, thing. So there's there's a lot of cool stuff here, and you can rebuild it in there. Uh, another thing I like. You got the, uh, we'll pull this off so you can see it better. But these are the little mic villains. They electrify. And so for podcasters, you know, imagine your mic is an evil robot that could attack you. Uh, truly a terrifying thing. But that's one of the things I loved. Sonic Mania was amazing. It did a lot of remixes of classic levels, but it also did its own unique levels. And Studio Lapis was the first one they revealed, the first one that's in the game. And it is a true fresh take that feels very Sonic-like. This is um, a Sonic level that's uh, taking place like at a TV-like studio. So you've got like news vans and microphones and cameras and all that kind of stuff. And all the flash of Hollywood. Um, and that's kind of, but it's a very much, it feels like a level like you would have like the casino or the carnival levels in the classic Sonic games. And now it seems like the first one they did was a casino, and everyone has to have a casino level in the new games that are not getting original. But in the original games, you had like Spring Yard, and then you went and you had Casino Night Zone, then you had Carnival Night Zone. So they, they were very original. And so Studiopolis is just like that. It's innovating, but still keeping the essence of Sonic. So I really love that. However, the main reason why I had to do this is a toy that if I was a kid, I would have gone bonkers for. Complete bonkers. And that here is this bad boy. 
this bad boy is amazing. Now he can, uh, he's got a little button there. He can fire off his arms at Sonic. He's, but so this is a big death egg robot and he can fly around with the rockets or he can land and put the, put the rockets away, but then boost up and fly. And he's got, he's just got a lot of detail. This is, this is super cool. Like kid me would have, my mind would have blown, but here's the big thing. And I can't fully go into it. He comes with this little Sonic in a ball. He's all balled up. He's super cute. A little rolling in a ball like that. And a catapult. Now you're supposed to be able to fling him that. Now I'm in my van. If I fling him, I might miss him. This is something that should be played on the carpet. But we're going to go through what the basic idea here is. So this guy is super cool. You fling this. It comes out and it hits this and boom we got some damage that's first hit and boom second hit more damage and third hit boom arm went off so um boom, everything went off <laughs> there it goes so now he's just the capsule and then he goes broken away away this is something that I, I just love that you know you got those three hits uh, and he's down kind of thing just like that you can reenact actual in real life a boss event and have have them go after him so this is just something that um, this is for me this this one is not for my daughter this is for me kid me would have loved it but adult me loves it even more so um yes really really love this thing so one last look here we got this so we're getting so much cool merch you know we've got plushies coming out we've got classic dreamcast area figures coming out We've got this classic from the game, from Sonic Mania. This also appeared in Sonic Generations, and a version of it will be in the movie. Um, it's just it's a great time to be a Sonic fan. Uh, so, hope everybody enjoyed. I'm sure to have more Sonic merch by the time the movie comes out. Alright, have a good day, and I'll catch you in the next video.